Well, this weekend, it looks like it could be a little fun weather-wise. Yeah, it's time now for Ask Your Meteorologist with Jack Gerfin. Hey, Jack, hanging out over there in the Weather Center. How's it going? It's good over here at the Quad Wall. It's pretty nice. <laughs> um, we've got some very nice weather on the way until we get to the weekend, so we'll talk about that here. A little bit warmer with our forecast, and there's going to be maybe the chance for the rain showers and the wintry mix that we'll talk about here in just a moment. But for tomorrow, we still can't stress enough how nice of a day it is for January standards. I have around 46 with mostly sunny skies. Winds will be out of the west up to around 15 to 25 miles an hour. Before we get to the weekend, though, there's going to be a cold front that comes through tomorrow night that will drop us from a high of 46 on Thursday down to 27 on Friday. There's not really going to be much with that. It's just going to be a change in wind direction that will cool us off. But then as we go into the weekend, our temperatures will be kind of in that uh, that uh, area in the middle to upper 30s, which makes it kind of hard for us to determine what type of precipitation we're exactly going to be seeing here. On Sunday, we're probably looking more at a snow chance that will change over to a rain chance. And so here's future track to show that as we go through. Uh, the weekend, we're looking at uh, a dry Saturday, but it's still kind of a cold one with temperatures in the 30s. But here comes our next system. This low is actually developing in parts of uh, Colorado. And as it uh, gets closer to us, it's going to swing its uh, warm front north through our area. So we'll probably start out with a little bit of some snow initially before it changes more to rain showers. But if our temperatures are kind of in the middle 30s, like we might be thinking, there might be at times a little bit of some sleet as well as some um, um, freezing rain that does kind of mix in there as well. And that will just kind of be the case on and off into uh, our Monday and even into Tuesday morning as well. You let's, know. Let's start with the warm, winter, uh, windy weather yeah. tomorrow. Uh, yeah. We are going to shoot something at Memorial Stadium that might involve kicking field goals tomorrow. <laughs> okay. How much wind am I going to need to account for sh uh, kicking south at Memorial Stadium? Okay, if you're if you're kicking south, we're going to have a west wind, so uh, the wind will be at around 25 miles an hour. So if you're facing south, that means that the right. wind. The men should be coming in from left to right, I believe. Oh, all right. Um, and so uh, it might be kind of hard. How long are you trying to? How long are you trying to go for? You know what? Um, I think <laughs> it's going to be a post. disaster, <laughs> regardless of how far away yeah. that we are. So. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's going to be in the 40s at the time we do it. Right. At 11. So is that going to be warm up? By then? It'll it'll be in the 30s by then, so I think okay. you guys, temperature-wise, will be fine, but that wind might kind of feel a little chilly. Um, but just keep in mind, though, as always, like, it actually doesn't really matter which way the wind is going, for the most part, in a stadium, because, like they say, it always swirls. So, <laughs> Well, I, all I know is if I lose this competition, I'm going to blame it on the wind. So. <laughs> right. well. there you, go. you know what? I don't think we can blame anything on the woolly worms, because they've pretty much nailed their winter forecast, yeah. because we've had a lot of snow rain um, Judy told us we would need our snow umbrella. Isn't that what the she snow called umbrella, it? Snow umbrella, yep. That's she did correct. say that. I think she's been spot on. Or yeah, sorry, the, the worms have been spot the on. The worms have been spot on. Yeah, a lot of times that's what's going to happen is that uh, with the, way, the way that this trend of this season has been, it's going to be not too bad most of the time. There's going to be some cold snaps here and there with some snow at times, but for the most part, it's not going to be that bad. Um, but our chance for precipitation this week, though, this weekend, I should say, are still kind of up in the air depending on what the temperature is going to do. We're going to be right in that kind of freezing rain to sleet area there where we have temperatures it'll be a little bit cooler closer to the ground compared to higher up in the sky so if you're looking at just rain it's above 32 pretty much the entire way if you're looking at snow it's going to be pretty much below 32 the entire way but when you get these different uh, layers of the atmosphere that are different temperatures it gets a little tricky sometimes that's why we like to use the term wintry mix Okay, uh, since you're my own personal weatherman, and this is important, yeah. Saturday, yep. uh, there's a chance there will be an Illinois game early in the day, Okay. and then there's a Bulls game in Chicago at night, and I have to drive from one to the next. Am <laughs> I going to have any trouble with that? I think you're going to be okay. I Good. think our chances for the snow and mixed precipitation won't be coming in probably until the overnight, so okay. it might actually impact you more when you're coming back down, unless... You know, the Bulls put you up in a nice uh, uh, hotel. Uh, it might actually be a little bit of a, might be a little tricky coming back down late at night. But I think for the most part, though, a lot of our Saturday, going into Saturday night, should actually be pretty dry. Good, because my Good. schedule's the only one that matters here, That's clearly. Right. So thank you. Nice. <laughs> Jack, appreciate yes. it. Hey, Good always, year. always a pleasure. And it's, it's good we're, we're back up to uh, four people on our staff now. No one's taken off any vacation or anything like that. So we can now do this a bit more often on Wednesdays. Well, we'll look we forward, look forward to, it. to it. Yeah. That. In fact, if you want to ask Jack a question, you can go to his Facebook page or email jgerfin at wcia.com.